Hey guys, welcome back. So we're at another game, so we're in Dufton today. And I am starting off with a dram of whiskey, which was gifted to me, this little dram here from one of the officials here. And it's a, it's from an unmarked bottle, but he like got it straight from the cask, he said. So it's cask strength. And genuinely, you guys, I've had like three sips of this and I am already tipsy. I have to have a drink of water after every sip or else I'm going to be completely on the floor, knocked out before the games even start. So, here's to a great game. Stone. We also have Chilean stone, white and cream, and from the ah! of South Africa. Wow! Okay, so much. Ah. I want to start it.
Good morning, everyone. We had a great day at the games yesterday. I had some fun tasting some whiskeys. Um, that first one, I only had the one dram that was that was liquid fire for sure. I struggled with that one. Um, but then I had some of the Glenfiddichs, you know, and then I ended with my fave, the Project Twenty. Um, so yeah. It was good. Craig did really well. I'm so proud of him. Each time we go to the games, he just gets a little bit better and better and better. And I am so excited to see where he goes with this because he's always been doing, he's been doing this for a long time and he's good at it. And I am excited to see him back into it and having a good time and enjoying himself again. So good things. Very happy. This morning, as you saw, we, I started out with some caping, which if you're new here, I know some of you are. Hi, everybody. Uh, caping is basically like moving the cows from like one field to another. So right now they are getting treated for, oh, hold on, summer mastitis. I think it's called basically it happens in the summertime over here in the UK when it's warmer and it's like there there's like a potential for their udders to get kind of infected because of the heat and the flies so they get this treatment done to their udders to protect them from the flies and the infections and stuff like that so that's what they're getting treated for at the moment and I'm going to get called back in a bit to help cape them back to where they were. So we move them from the field to the area where they're getting treated and then we're going to move them back. So until then, I'm going to be here with you guys and we are going to do today's job. Now, I have some fantastic news. My parents are coming to visit me again. I'm so excited. So they will be, well, first my mom is coming, my mom's going to come and visit me first. She's going to be here in five weeks, you guys, five weeks. And then about a week after she arrives, my dad will arrive because my dad is on his way to, I believe, Poland. And he's helping out with the Ukrainian refugees and... He is, my dad's a dentist, so he was recruited to help out because they need dentists over there to help out all the refugees. So he's going over there for about a week. He's going to do, help them out, um, do some work there, and then he's going to stop by here with my mom, and they'll be here for a while, and then they'll go home. So because they're coming, I need to prepare their room where they're going to be staying. The last time they were here, I didn't have, Craig and I hadn't bought like our new bed yet and the room where we sleep now wasn't finished. So it's all finished now and so my parents are going to be sleeping where we used to sleep upstairs and in the bed here. And since we moved out of this room, it's become a bit of a dumping ground to be honest and I'm looking at it now and it's just a bit <sighs> so I'm going to show you the shame of this room it's pretty bad it's actually not so bad but it, it is kind of bad anyway I'm going to show you this room 
and then we're gonna, you're gonna hang out with me while I organize it and tidy it. Mm -hmm. All right, are you guys ready? Here it is. So that's our bedroom down here. You come up the stairs, and here we go. I mean, there's the bed, there's just some junk there, and then just some more madness everywhere. Oh my gosh. And that's it. But they'll get a beautiful view once I tidy it up out there. So this is what I'm dealing with. It's not terrible, but it's not ideal either, so. And as I start organizing, I need to figure out what I'm gonna do, like where I'm gonna place the bed, because before the bed was like along like this, and I moved it there so that there was just some more space for us to dump stuff. <laughs> but it being against the wall, I don't think my parents would enjoy being shoved up against the wall, you know? So I'm thinking of moving it back to the way it was. And then that way, when they wake up in the morning and they are just laying in bed, that will be their view. So I think that's what I might do. Um, and yeah, right. I think we should just get going. I mean, I have our Christmas tree in there, our tree skirt thing there. Just a random freaking TV, you guys. It's ni bueno. empty look at that but we've had a change of plans so we decided that we are going to paint this room before my parents get here so before I start setting everything up and moving the bed around and all that we're going to prep the room and paint it so we have to like fix a crack up there and we have to fill up here from when we had to like lower the doors and once that's done then I can start the painting process but everything you can see is now in that room over there and that room is kind of a bum sight. <laughs> so since that's gonna take a few days to sort out and everything I will see you guys later. All right guys are you ready? Look at this, giant tortillas. <laughs> we found giant tortillas. Well, let me correct. Jane, my fantastically amazing mother-in-law found the giant tortillas at the best shop in the world, Spice of Asia, for the win once again. So we went there, Jane and I, for our shopping, and she was like, 
look, Alexis. And there they were. These enormous tortillas that we've been looking for for seven years since I've been here. And I'm so excited because now I don't have to ask my mom to bring some over from California for me. <laughs> so we are making, I'm sure you can hear, my rice boiling there. I got some onions and peppers cooking here. I got some black beans on the go. And I have some rotisserie chicken that I had shredded up. And we're gonna make ourselves some burritos. So, very excited. <laughs> Darcy! How come always my fingers? You, they don't want to lick your fingers. Because you can't cr cr crunch them up. Oh. Give me a spot. Put, 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 put. Put. I can't reach you. Oh, are you peeing while I pet you? Uh huh. Rude. Get badger. Hello, badger. No, badger's the one you Oh, hello, badger. Put, put. Put, put. I can't reach you. You're too far away. Me. Oh, you're done peeing now? Okay. Hello. Hello. You say hi to my subscribers. Say hello. Hello. Girl. Oh, well, it's a generic name, Spot. Well, it's a spot in the seat. That means it's a girl? No. Well, all right then. Hello, Mrs. Hello, Mrs. Hello, Miss Spot. How are you? Hello. Hello, 
she's fine. Oh, sorry. Oh, she's the flight eating that blackie and she's five feet for herself. Oh, why'd she come over here then? <coughs> well, you shouldn't have been. That's why she got a flag. Uh, I did that because she ran. Hmm. Right. Wow, that sun is right in my face. How did you like your burrito? Fantastic. It was pretty good, wasn't it? Right, so I'm going to end this for today. We had a wonderful weekend. Thank you guys for joining me. And I will see you in the next video. Love you all.